Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with IS-3A or Pellegrin, it's literally the same tank, right? Pellegrin has fancy skin and IS-3 doesn't have a fancy skill, that is, uh, that is pretty much the biggest difference between those tanks. I already had my warm up, looks like I am, uh, I am feeling pretty good and we can play with this tank, so let's hope this session is going to be just as great as warm up, so without further ado, Let's go right into the action. So, let's see what the first battle brings with this tank. And we have Fisherman's Bay, we have a standard battle. Now, the worst thing of all this, we are not top dog in the field, but that is completely fine. All in all, I think this tank deserves quite some respect, fellas. Overall, IS-3A or Pellegrin, it's literally the same tank like I said before, just this one has a fancy camo. Um, it is pretty strong vehicle, honestly. The, th the fact that you can do 1.2 thousand damage in like 6 seconds, it is insane, fellas. It is truly insane. So, everyone needs to respect that. Because any mistake which you are going to do against the um, IS-3A, you are going to get punished for. Obviously, the gun handling is not ideal, speaking about this tank. It is definitely not ideal, boys. But, I believe we are going to make it work pretty well. It is going to be alright. So, looking into all of this, my mission is to sit around this area and wait until enemies will make a bit of pressure like this. The main reason why am I not going into the city, because obviously, with a heavy tank, you should and you could, is simple there is no one going in the city everyone is playing very very passively we have a heavy tanks who are playing here and i can respect that i can understand that um the city is pretty much flat ground you know you cannot play hold down you can only side scrap and my tank is not excellent on side scrapping either so once again we are going to calm down we are going to chill skill uh, we are going to calm down, we are going to chill, and we are going to simply wait until enemies will make a mistake. That's all we need to do. Now, all and all, speaking about the ammunition, APCRs as a standard, that is absolutely glorious and that is absolutely amazing. 390 alpha, once again, if you are adding everything up, you are doing roughly 1.2 thousand damage in 6 seconds, which is awesome. If you are willing to shoot uh, the gold ammunition, you have 270 millimeters of penetration, which is also pretty nice as well, right? So, once again, no complaints from our side where the gun stats go. Huh. This is going to be an interesting game. I can tell you one thing. This is going to be very, very, very interesting. Looking into all of this... I just simply don't feel like I want to be aggressive. I know it sounds weird, but still you are playing with a USSR heavy tank, how dare you not to be aggressive. Listen, in this situation it is very easy to be overrunned by the enemies, that is the problem, you know? And this is what I am afraid of. And think about it, if we are going to meet Tortoise, which we very well could, if we are going to meet a CC1 MK2, Cobra or AMAX, all of them pretty much can clip the living crap out of us, even the Tortoise can spank us, right? And we will feel like we are fighting against the autoloader. So we need to be smart. We need to be smart, fellas. Okay. Good. 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 Now, what we want to see, we want to see this AMAX 5120 making a silly goose mistake. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Make a mistake and make us proud. Okay, Tortoise, my biggest fear is coming through. Quite a sad shot, unfortunately we did not manage to spank this guy. Which is sad, but it is how it is. Maybe he will retreat a bit more back. Look, now this is a problem. We have a Tortoise here, which is once again, it is not an easy tank to fight against. Uh, and our IS-6 is pretty much getting um, slaughtered by the enemy forces. There is nothing what this gentleman can do to defend himself. There is absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, we are trying to find an okay angle to spank this MIX. You see, I, I know I am playing um, very, very passively, but sometimes passive play is the right play, believe me or not. Sometimes it is significantly better to be passive and to be alive 
then to be aggressive and to take one for the team and after that blame the um, team for uh, your own mistakes and for your own stupidity to a certain extent, right? Here we go, this guy is dead, excellent, and now we want to spank the Mr. Tortoise. It's going to be super hard game whenever Tortoise will find the strength in, in himself uh, in order to push on us. This is not going to be bueno. Actually, you know what? At this point, I am going to be aggressive. We are going to support IS-6. Can IS-6 penetrate Tortoise? Well, frontally, probably not. Um, so this is the thing to be afraid of. But if the Tortoise is alone, there is a chance we can literally uh, flank the guy and after that he is going to complain about his life choices. And this is exactly what I want to see, fellas. This is exactly what I want to see. Okay, pay attention to what he is doing. Good. I want him to go towards the... Ooh, I'm spotted. Not exactly what I was looking for. I want him to go for this IS-6. Okay. If he is going to go for this IS-6, we are booming. Okay, excellent. Very nice. That would be one. Good. Good, fellas. We are slaughtering the beast. We are slaughtering the beast here. Very, very nice. Oh, Mr. Tortoise, have you ever thought about this beautiful crossfire? Hello, dear. Nice. Fellas. That was absolutely glorious, believe me or not. No, but still, you have 2,000. In this situation, it is not about how much damage you have. It is about the decision which we made, right? I am feeling very, very good because we just slaughtered probably the most powerful tank in this matchmaking. Like, there is no tomorrow uh, while playing like a team with IS-6. That was beautiful. And yes, we have 2,000 at this point, but I believe we can uh, make the 3,000 like there is no tomorrow. At least that's what I believe. Meanwhile... I have a feeling this gentleman is a focus, so let's try to armor at him. Hopefully, we are going to be lucky enough to spank him like there is no tomorrow, no? Just like so, beautiful. And I should be able to reload in time, and I should be able to pick up this skill. I have a feeling I'm reloading quicker than IS-6 does, beautiful. And now we can go. What an excellent game. Obviously, this last 1000 is coming from the AFK tank, but uh, fellas, listen. Um, what are you supposed to do if the guy is AFK, right? It's not like I can use my voodoo magic and I can make, um, I can revive him to a certain extent. I just simply cannot do that. What do you want? So, all and all. I want to believe this is a game over. I do not really think we can get more, but soon we will figure out. Maybe we can. In fact, I think I want to take the upper ground here, and I want to pray to the Arta who could sit here next to the red line. And if my reaction time is good enough, I should be able to get one more extra shot. Ah! I was driving and the thing is there was a rock who was blocking me from this guy. But it's okay. What are you supposed to say rock was blocking him from me? Either way, uh, look at the bright side. We can always rig brother in arms. Uh, thank you, kind sir. Excellent. Okay, let's teleport to the scoreboard and let's see what score have we crafted in this game. I am proud of myself and I am feeling happy with the score and I really doubt we are going to uh, reach this Cobra in time so let's go and we are back fellas we got extra shot on the Cobra but that chase took some time we are saying thank you for the Loki and we are wishing him luck and let's see the score 3.7 thousand damage, 4 kills, we are top by experience, we are top by the damage, what a beautiful play that was. IS-6 was like a bait and we were like his main supporter, what a beautiful game. And in the same time we got 69,000 profits which is expected since we are playing with a premium tank, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful battle, I'm super happy about this, let's go for a second. Okay guys, a second game, tier 8 matchmaking, plenty of the heavy tanks. I think we are going to go to the city. I think city is the way for us. And I have a feeling this is going to be the main fight as well. But we are not going to go into the city city, we are going to go to the suburbs at first. And hopefully we can spank enemies for uh, their mistakes and for their stupidity. That's what I am hoping for. 
So the first things first, I really want to take this position. But in the same time, I do not really think... Huh. I do not really think we can punish someone. But let's try. Uh, pa, 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 pa. No, Progetto, how are you doing? Hmm, Mr. Progetto. Okay, IS-3A is kind, being kind of passive. Hmm, doesn't really change anything. Okay, let's see. Let's try to go like this, and look at this. Now we have a great position to spank everyone who will try to be aggressive here. And believe me, enemies will. It is a matter of the time. Oh, that is a beautiful overplayed shot. Thank you. Uh, Lorraine, how are you doing? Unfortunately, I missed the shot. And last one for the Mr. Astro and Rex. Shame. Only one out of three. But once again, this is a long range. Those are the long range shots. I can't cry that much about this. I'm all right. I am feeling okay, even though the score could be significantly better. I would love to make pressure through the middle of the field, honestly. And you know what? I think I am brave enough to go for this. Listen, hear me out. I want to take this dip here, okay? From this dip, I believe we can spank them like there is no tomorrow. Beautiful. Astron Rex, how are you doing this fine day? Beautiful. And one more for the sake of love. Excellent. And look at this. By going super aggressively like this, right? We are doing quite a bit of damage and in the same time we are spotting slash tracking we are doing whatever we want to do with the enemy forces right i can promise you that they are not enjoying themselves in this situation and this is exactly what i need and what i am looking for meanwhile i'm i am deleting the house this is my part-time job fellas the house destroyer excellent very very good so far this is a good play now, moving on next, we are not going to slow down, we are going to be aggressive. Whenever this IS-3A will die, then we will go for a base defense. But for now, we can simply farm this gentleman like there is no tomorrow. We have two in the magazine, I don't really care to overpeak, I just don't care. Oh, come on, that was a beautiful sight, do not do this to me, pretty please, game. I don't really think they are able to cap us out, honestly. Looking into, uh, looking how many enemies are near the base, right? I don't think they will be uh, able to overtake everyone uh, sniping from the back here. So I am not thinking about uh, going back for a base defense. Why would I? I think it is not really worth it, honestly speaking. I don't think it's worth it. So all we need to do now, we need to keep making pressure and we need to find the forest spirit. And Forest Spirit just eliminated our Chrysler. That's okay. What is the chance that Forest Spirit is sitting here in front of us? Soon we will figure this out. I can see a lot of guys are going for a base defense, which is to be expected, right? Which is to be expected. No, Mr. Forest Spirit, where are you sitting at? And, and Uda's 03. Where is uh, Forest Spirit? I'm just asking. Maybe, maybe our guys will have a clue. No one has a clue about him. I mean, he could sit here near the red line and then the, we cannot change absolutely anything. Anyways, I'm going for a face-off here. I am just simply going for a face-off. Who knows? Mm, you know what? I'm going to check this area. I think that is the right play. I see the Uda sitting here. I am very, very well aware of that. But it doesn't change the fact that Forest Spirit should sit somewhere near Arthur, right? 
I believe that makes sense, and if we are going to spank the living crap out of him, we are going to be okay. Yeah, let's go for Arta. Is there is a tiny chance for a spirit sitting here? I do not really think so, fellas. I think he is um, near the red line, somewhere around this area. That's what I would guess. Meanwhile, our team is yelling, kill Jeff. Oh, how beautiful is that? Okay, poor spirit is sitting right here. That's quite sad. I was expecting him defending the base, but it is how it is. Oh, well, fellas. All and all, speaking about this game, I'm happy how aggressive I was. I'm happy um, about my play. I'm not very happy about the score. I was really wanting to push this up to the 3000 raw damage, but it is how it is. I really doubt we can reach this forest spirit in time, but let's try to do our best. And as you can see, this tank doesn't look bad by any shape or any form, right? At least I think it doesn't look bad as a tank it's not ideal it's not the best tank in the world of tanks either but it's not bad no there is no chance okay let's finish everything with a backflip fellas i don't know how about you but whenever i was a uh, tiny touch younger i was able to do some backflips so let's try to repeat it and land properly who you I do not want to talk about this. Okay. All and all, 2.7 thousand damage, 900 assisting damage. That is pretty good score. I am okay with that. We are second by experience. We are third by the damage. Um, and we got 77,000 profits as well. That is okay. We can live with that. Round number three. Let's go. Okay. Ruinberg standard battle. Let's see what we can do. So first things first, uh, I believe we are going into the city and we are going to load the gold instantly. The main reason being is because I think this is the correct play and I ha I think I have no business to do in the, um, in the small town or suburbs. I just do not think it is the greatest play or a great play to begin with. So, after that... We'll see what we can do. Obviously, the first things first is to is to raise the PP and to prepare to punish guys who are sitting over there. I think I am going to be... Oh, hi there. I was about to say I think I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and instantly peek, but I don't really think this is the correct way to do the things. Meanwhile, TL7. If I'm not mistaken, I can penetrate him in the face without bigger problems whatsoever. No. TL7... Oh, stop being a pussy. Just peek. Just peek. No one is waiting for you, my man. Nah. Huh. Ah. Interesting. Oh, I cannot penetrate him in the face? That is a weird one. I did not saw that one coming. I thought I can spank him in the face like there is no tomorrow, but little did I knew I am wrong. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I thought TL7 has... Um, I thought TL7 doesn't have that much armor, especially to deal with the 270 hits, but... Oh well, little did I knew. Okay, I assume this gentleman is on the reload at this point. Spanked him into Cupola. Spanked him into Cupola. TL7 definitely changed his mind. He is not feeling that great. Okay, listen. Uh, this is a bad situation. And it's bad situation not for our team. It is dreadful situation for the enemies. They have no team. What that means, that means we need to find a way how we can get involved because otherwise our score is going to be dreadful, right? And this is definitely not what we are looking for, but that's what we have. So, we just need to find the strength and we need to push in front like there is no tomorrow. I know there is a buzzer waiting on, around the corner, but I cannot change absolutely anything. In fact, I am just going in. I know, I know, I took 400 damage for free. Nothing what I can change about this. And now we are going to say hello for this Mr. Uh, Scorpion or Emil. I think I want to clip the living crap out of the ML. 
I think Emil is the first guy we are going to eliminate and after that we are going to say hello for the actually you know what let's do like this Ooh, a lot of a lot of a lot of HP lost okay doesn't really change anything Plus, whenever I see the game like this, right, whenever, um, whenever everything is looking, um, whenever everything, um, goes to that extent that we cannot, uh, uh, that our team is just simply winning extremely, extremely easily, I do not mind to make a hardcore pressure and to lose all my hit points in the same time. I literally do not. Okay, he was waiting for me. I literally do not care about that because I know I can save my hit points. I know I can survive the game, but I would rather to get extra clip or extra shot than to save my hit points or to save my life. Uh, that was a smart play. This guy was simply waiting for me. And once again, I can sit here, but what's from that? Because otherwise I won't be able to reach... Um, the end game damage to the certain extent right so that was 15 to 1 i did not play it aggressively enough and whenever i noticed our team is winning easily then i played too aggressively which happens what can you do um right all in all after two games i am proud of my performance uh 3.2 thousand damage hip hip hooray 500 assisting damage excellent session the last game well um unfortunate fellas unfortunate what can you do anyways i hope you were very very well entertained i hope you enjoyed yourself uh and in the same time it's not a bad time speaking about the is3a or pellegrin uh and once again it is the same tank anyways thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace